Hello everyone, welcome to Adult Lab presented by the Moreno Valley Public Library. Today's topic is about how to stay safe online and some useful tools that can keep you safe and secure while browsing online. The first tool that I'd like to share with you is called HTTPS Everywhere. This is something that you can download to Google Chrome or whatever web browser that you use to make sure that the web pages you visit are safe and secure. One rule of thumb is making sure that the websites you visit start with HTTPS. The S means the web page is secure. And if you are unsure, look to make sure that there's a picture of a lock right next to the address of the website. This helps you know that this is a secure website. So if you are buying something and entering your credit card information, you can rest assured it is a safe website and it is safe to put in your personal information. Another tool is called Tor. This is a web browser that you can download, whether you have Windows, Mac, or another platform. It is similar to Firefox or Google Chrome, but this one is a lot safer. It helps protect you when you're browsing the internet because it makes sure that Websites aren't tracking your personal information, seeing what web pages you're looking at, seeing your personal information. So, this is a good web browser for staying safe. Another tool is called Privacy Badger. This is a good one to use if you're not using Tor and are just using Google Chrome or Firefox, Microsoft Edge or other internet browsers like that. It helps to also keep you safe when you're browsing because websites won't be able to track your information and what you're looking at. So this works very similarly to the Tor browser, but it is just an extension that you can install into the web browser that you're, that you're generally using. Another tool is DuckDuckGo. This is an alternative to using Google search. I really like using Google search, but it does track what web pages you visit. DuckDuckGo makes sure that when you search for certain keywords, the web pages aren't tracking your information and what you're searching for. So you can search right here in the search box right here or download it as an extension for Chrome. And it gives you peace of mind for your privacy. I also recommend using a password manager. This one is called LastPass. It keeps all of your passwords safe in one spot. You don't need to remember numerous passwords all you need is a master password that will get you into all the websites you signed up for. It generate, generates a passphrase for each website. A passphrase is similar to a password, but is longer and more complex. And that makes it harder for hackers to figure out. It is a lot safer than using simple passwords such as one, two, three, four, five, six or your birthday, because those are easy for hackers to guess, to figure out and get into your accounts and steal your personal information. I also recommend using an ad blocker. I've been using Adblock Plus for a while and it does block a good majority of the ads. You can adjust the settings if you want to block some of the acceptable ads. For example, if you are on a, on a blog 
and someone has ads on their blog because that's how they gain revenue, you can choose to block those if you want to as well. All you do is just download the extension for Google Chrome or whatever web browser you prefer. I'd like to show you some examples of some spam websites, which are dangerous websites that can steal your information. For example, this one is called pacificrimwatch.metroblog.com. This looks like an illegal website that has film footage of the movie Pacific Rim. Something that gives it away is if you look at the headline, it has bad spelling and grammar. If you look closely at these paragraphs, they don't make sense grammatically. That is a giveaway that this is not a safe, reliable website. I'm sure it also doesn't have HTTPS in the website name. If I chose to go on this website, which I won't because I want to keep my computer safe. Another example is couponcentral101.com. At first glance, this looks like a good website for saving money, finding some coupons to get good deals. But actually, all of these links are links to spam websites that are dangerous. Based on personal experience, I know someone who tried to buy some things from a spam website and her credit card information got stolen because of using a website that was not safe. So even though websites like these look enticing, make sure to double check whether or not it is safe. Make sure it says HTTPS in the website. You can also hover your mouse over a link. For example, when I put my mouse over Search Engine Watch, on the bottom left corner of my screen, it says HTTPS www.searchenginewatch.com. So I know this leads to a safe and reliable website and I can trust if I click on this knowing that it is secure. For more information on keeping safe online, I recommend this website called datadetoxkit.org. It has great articles on how to stay safe, how to make sure websites you're going on are reputable. It even has advice on keeping the data on your smartphone safe as well, keeping you private while you browse the web on your smartphone. In the comments below this video, let me know what are the best ways you like to stay safe while being online. Perhaps you can share some tips that aren't mentioned in this video. There are a lot of other useful tips for staying safe. Also, let me know what other topics you'd like to see for future videos. Thank you for watching.